Noah Newman, coordination co or education coordinator for Coca Ross, joining us now via Skype to talk more about how this community based network has become such an important part of weather forecasting. You know, for starters, it really fills in the gaps in terms of giving us a greater sense of what's going on across the country, correct? Absolutely. You know, one of the biggest problems, and we've all seen it, is that it can rain like across the street and not on you. And so we came up with this idea. Actually, today is our 21st birthday of starting Kokoraz, where people would set up a rain gauge just like this in their backyards and submit their data. And uh, just like I said, it can rain different right across the street from you. And so the more people that we have that set up rain gauges, the better we can understand that variability from one location to the next. So Noah, help me talk to the people who might be interested in becoming a Kokoraz observer. Uh, what times a day would they have to make the observation? What if I'm a, a, a night person, not a morning person? Uh, how hard is it? How expensive is it? Those sorts of things. Sure. So really, again, the only non-negotiable to the whole project is to have this type of rain gauge. Everyone has to have the same exact rain gauge. So that way we're comparing apples to apples. But as far as the time of day, you know, ideally you would want to take your measurement first thing in the morning. And it's a 24-hour measurement that uh, encapsulates everything that occurred the 24 hours before you took that measurement. Um, if you are a night person, though, we do have a lot of people that they like to take their measurement at exactly midnight, and that is fine with us. Um, but again, to compare apples to apples, if you take your measurement um, at or near 7 a.m., um, you'll be with everyone else in the network, all um, over 20,000 of us, in fact, and that way your data will be most valuable, again, in the morning. And the Weather Service uses this data. This, this basically became official records in some states. No, let's talk about places where you might be in need of more observers. Where would those places be? <laughs> well, it's it's really everywhere. I mean, again, we've got over 20,000 volunteers, and if you looked on our map, you would think that we're, we're well covered. But really, um, you know, you could zoom into any location. And I mean, I can think of one example, Miami, for instance. There are, you know, you've got hundreds of thousands of millions of people, but uh, in quite amazing uh, precipitation uh, that, that can be tracked. But really, there's not many volunteers that actually have the rain gauge. All right. Well, Noah Newman uh, with Coco Ross, thank you so much. It's your 21st birthday. Make sure you don't go too wild. Happy Take birthday. Take it easy. Happy birthday. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, Great. Picture thank you.